हेलो दोस्तों तो एज यू नो दैट झारखंड एसएससी पीजीडी केमिस्ट्री का जो सिलेबस में है केमिकल कानेटिक्स उसमें जो टॉपिक्स इंक्लूडेड हैं वो है ऑर्डर एंड मॉलिकुलरिटी केमिकल कानेटिक्स एंड इट स्कोप रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन फैक्टर इन्फ्लुएंसिंग रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन रेट इक्वेशन ऑफ जीरो फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड ऑर्डर सीड ऑर्डर रिएक्शन हाफ लाइफ एंड मेन लाइफ determination of order of reaction theories of chemical kinetics that is collision theory transition state theory arrhenius equation concept of activation energy effect of temperature on rate constant catalysis characteristics of catalyzed reaction theories of catalysis and example okay so the very very important topics which uh, are the, when jahan um, se question form hota hai wo hai isme zero first second order reaction रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन ओके एंड कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी इफेक्ट ऑफ टेम्परेचर ऑन रेट कॉन्सेंट आर इन एज इक्वेशन दैट्स इट ओके सो दिस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स एंड सो लेट गेट स्टार्टेड द एम सी क्यू पोर्शन ओके तो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज देयर दैट इज इफ डब्लिंग द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ ए रिएक्टेंट ए इनक्रीजेस द रेट फोर टाइम्स एंड ट्रिपलिंग द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ ए इनक्रीजेस द रेट नाइन टाइम्स रेड इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू ओके सो इफ इफ वी कंसिडर ए रिएक्शन दैट इज ए ए टू प्रोडक्ट ओके सो द रेट लो वी कैन गिव इन द एक्सप्रेशन बाय द एक्सप्रेशन दैट इज आर इज इक्वल टू के इन टू ए टू दि पावर एन एन ए टू दि पावर एन ओके सो एन इज द ऑर्डर ऑफ द रिएक्शन ना द क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट इयर दैट इज आर द प्रोपोर्शनल टू हुई order of reaction okay this is the question okay so here uh, the conditions are given that that first one is uh, four times r increases rate increases when when uh, the concentration of a is two times increases okay and next one is nine time r increases when k is equal to 3 a to the power a If one and two, these are the two equation. One and two. If we divided this two equation, then we get the result that is two by three to the power two is equal to two by three to the power n. So the value of n is equal to two. Hence the rate that is proportional to square of the concentration of a. The root here. This is not root. Okay. So root is cut. and root the square of the concentration of a square of square of the concentration of a okay next question the rate law for the reaction rcl plus na which is equal to roh plus ncl is given by the rate is equal to k1 concentration of rcl the rate of the reaction will be okay so here this is the equation but the rate is only depends on concentration of rcl not the concentration of nh so here the rate of the reaction will be half on reducing the concentration of a alkyl halide of the half the one half okay the, as this is first order reaction so it depends on the concentration of only rcl so if we the concentration of uh, um, rcl half then rate will be also half okay नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर ए गिवन रिएक्शन थ्री ए प्लस बी प्लस इज इक्वल टू सी प्लस डी द रेट ऑफ द रिएक्शन कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट द रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन इफ द इफ दिस आर द दिस दिस आर द रिएक्टेंट एंड दिस आर द प्रोडक्ट इफ वी रिप्रेजेंट द रेट इक्वेशन विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू रिएक्टेंट देन माइनस इज माइनस साइन इज फ्रंट okay then here da by dt here the coefficient is 1 3 okay so 1 by 3 is right here next minus db by dt as there is no coefficient so this does not okay next dc by dt next d d by dt okay as this c and d are products so here the plus sign is given ओके एंड दिस इज माइनस साइन ओके सो हियर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन ए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एन एग्जांपल ऑफ ए सीडो इनमोलिकुलर रिएक्शन 
this question is formed every in every competitive reaction e, e, examination okay this is very very important reaction this is the hydrolysis of ester or hydrolysis of methyl acetate in dilute solution okay here the so in the concentration of water is almost constant constant so this does not uh, uh, involve in the rate of the reaction equation okay rate equation next consider the following case of completing first order reaction this is the uh, reaction this is parallel reaction okay k1 and k2 c and d are the products here the question is after starting uh, the reaction at t is equal to 0 only a is present c and d is equal to uh, the c the concentration of c is equal to the d at all time and the time in which all three concentration are equal okay so if we uh, let's consider at first t is when t is equal to 0 then one mole of a is present if we consider okay but the time in which all three concentrations are uh, equal okay let's uh, time is equal to t okay when the all three concentrations are let's see that are one by third okay that is a that is c and that is d if we consider this okay the concentration of a is equal to one by third then this also one third this also one third okay so the formula of the parallel reaction is is equal to t is equal to one by k1 plus k2 ln xc 1 by xc minus x okay hence that is the uh, initial concentration of this and this is the this is after the uh, t time okay so here if we put this value here as uh, here concentration of c and d are equal so k1 and k2 also equal okay so if we uh, put the value k1 is equal to k2 plus this is this also k2 or k1 ln that is one if we consider the value of uh, uh, initial concentration of a is one and this is this is one third okay now the if we calculate this this is 2k2 ln 3 okay so here the correct option is option b okay next this is also the same question formation next the rate of disappearance of SO2 in the reaction 2SO2, this is SO2, 2SO2 of O2 is equal to 2SO3 is this, okay, 1.28 into 10 to the power minus 3 gram per second, then the rate of formation of SO3. We, uh, in the second case, we represent the rate of equation that is uh, here, one minute, here we can represent the rate equation that is minus 1 by 2 d of so2 by dt okay uh, is equal to minus d of o2 by dt is equal to minus plus 1 by 2 d of so3 by dt so the rate of uh, these and these are same but minus and uh, they, they are the sign are change because this is reactant this is product okay so here the value is same that is option c here correct answer 1.28 10 to the power minus 10 to the power minus 3 gram per second okay next question the main function of a catalyst in speeding up a reaction is okay so first uh, option here is the increase the rate of the forward reaction to change the reaction path so as that decreases the energy of the activation from the reaction to reduce the temperature and to increase the energy of the molecules of the reactant here the correct answer is to change the reaction path so as that as to decrease the activation energy of the reaction okay it is the correct because uh, if we non catalyzed reaction we if we included this is reaction coordinates coordinate okay um, if we then if we non catalyzed reaction are there this is okay but if we catalyze the reaction the activation energy is less okay so it reduce the activation energy and path of the reaction is changed okay next question the rest rate constant of a reaction depends on if we consider the arrhenius equation that is that is k is equal to 
rate constant is equal to a into e to the power minus e a by r t okay here the temperature is the main factor okay so rate constant depends on the temperature next question the velocity of a chemical reaction doubles every 10 degree rise of temperature if the temperature is raised by 50 degree centigrade the velocity of the reaction about so here uh, five times increases uh, every 10 degree if we increases then rate constant is doubled okay so if we 50 degree centigrade it, it double then 2 to the power 5 okay so the question answer is 32 times increases rate constant okay velocity of the reaction increases 32 times okay next question uh, which of the following statement regarding the molecularity of a reaction are correct uh, molecularity is the if we uh, consider a reaction that is a plus b to c plus d rate is equal to we can uh, consider a to the power alpha and b to the power gamma okay here this is the rate of the reaction is an experimental experimental result okay but the molecularity of the reaction the ratio or proportion that that the ratio that's are a and b are reacted to each other and to form c and t okay so the ratio of this is called molecularity hence the uh, question answer is it is the number of molecules of the reactants taking part in a single step chemical reaction always it is uh, um, when molecularity if we consider then always in a, it is an elementary step okay next a large increases increase in the rate of a reaction for a rise in temperature is due to if the rate is increases uh, with the increase of rise of temperature then here the increase in the number of activated complex okay so here the cut option is p next according to the collision theory of a chemical reaction uh, the here the options are a chemical reaction occurs every molecular collision next is uh, rate is directly proportional to the number of the collision of per second ne uh, third one is uh, re reaction is is the gas phase are always zero this is not correct reaction rates are um, are the order of the molecular speed okay here the correct answer is rate is directly proportional to the number of collision per second okay next according to the arrhenius equation the activation energy is okay so here this is your homework okay you can do this and comment on the comment section okay next question which of the following does not represent arrhenius equation okay First one is k is equal to a into e to the power e by r t. Next log of, log k is equal to log a minus e by r t. Then log uh, base 10 k log base 10 a minus e by 2.303 r t. Fourth one is k is equal to a into e to the power r t. Okay. So here uh, first three is the different form of Arrhenius equation. But last one is incorrect. Okay. So here d is the incorrect form. Next. An endothermic reaction with high activation energy for the forward reaction is given by the diagram. Okay. Uh, we know that for endothermic reaction, delta H, that is enthalpy of reaction, is always positive. Okay. And for endothermic reaction, we can see that always the, the product energy is high. Okay. So, first one, uh, so the b option and a option are incorrect okay and here uh, the condition is with high activation energy okay so here the correct option is c with high activation energy that is this and product act product product energy is always high than reactant okay so it is the correct answer next A graph plotted between log k versus t for uh, 1 by t for this is 1 by t for calculating activation energy is shown by uh, the Arrhenius equation is equal to sorry Arrhenius equation is equal to k is equal to a into e to the power minus ea by rt 
if we take logarithm from both side log k is equal to log a minus a by rt okay if we plot log k versus t 1 by t that is 1 by t then one uh, slope is here that is e by r and log k that is intercept is present okay and this is negative slope always negative slope hence the correct answer is option b okay hence the correct answer is option b next if e forward and e backward that is activation energy of forward reaction activation energy of uh, backward reaction or reverse reaction at the activation energy of the forward and reverse reaction the reaction is uh, known as the exothermic then these are the condition which condition is follows okay so we always knows that for exothermic or endothermic the energy of activation energy of reverse reaction is always greater than activation energy of forward reaction okay so here the cut option is option b next the rate constant is doubled when temperature increases from 27 degrees centigrade to 37 degrees centigrade activation energy in kg joule is okay and this is the last question it is it, it is a numerical based question okay so uh, i can write the formula of the reaction that is log of k2 by k1 is equal to E A by two point three zero three R one by T one minus one by T two. This is the formula. Okay, T one always uh, T one and T two are always in Kelvin scale. Okay, so T one is uh, uh, three hundred degree centigrade and T two is three three hundred ten degree centigrade. Okay, if we put the value and here the condition is K two is double to K one. Okay, so you can write uh, that that is this to K one and log of K two by K one is equal to log two. Okay, and you can you can calculate this. And here the cut option is option B. That is fifty four kg joule. Okay, so here these are the questions uh, I can give you, and the homework uh, the homework question is also given, and you can please comment on the comment section. So thank you, and if you like this video, then please uh, subscribe my channel.